Tommy Meadows. My name is Tommy Meadows. I have been the director, I mean, I'm sorry, the chairperson of the main Rick that actually does the contracts for every CBN within Wayne County. My first experience with CLS was when they were running the voucher program for transportation. They couldn't even get the people to sign up for the voucher program. <laughs> Detroit had to bail them out. Then, 2010, I became a member of CLS. I came to them only to help pay my taxes. That was it. The home was modified. <coughs> it was totally paid off. What surprised me is the support staff showed up with her supervisor. And they proceeded to do an investigation. That's fine. But before you do an investigation, point one, I'm a registered person that does personal center plans. I know what the personal center plan is backwards. CLS arranged, without my permission or my knowledge, a pre-planning meeting for my PCP. Didn't tell me. Couldn't even get my person. Because I'm registered. I'm like a lawyer. I'm not going to handle my first. I'm not going to handle my case. Because only a fool <laughs> would be a person to facilitate their own plan. So I assigned a person that I went to class with that was certified. CLS couldn't even get the name right. After a year, now I'm legally blind. I cannot see standard print. You might as well just save your paper, save whatever you're doing. First thing I come in, they hand me a book. Can't see it, but hey, I can feel it. Don't do me no good. Secondly, my rights were not explained. Thirdly, they, like I said, they had a pre-planning meeting. With that pre-planning meeting, I had a person from CLS operate as my support coordinator. Not, no, I'm sorry, not support, my PCP person. I'm like, wait a minute. It's my choice who I have to operate my PCP, personal center plan. That means without my voice, there ain't no plan. I went to it with a laid out plan. First thing, we want you to move to Inkster, Westland, Garden City, Wayne, Michigan. That's where, what, that's where CLS is located. And, but just to make a short story, so I said, no, I want to live in Detroit. I am going to live in Detroit. All right, all right. Now, when you came out to my house and you did this investigation, what really got me upset is they never said we're not going to help. Mm -mm. Too simple. Now, what happened was they talked among themselves. I went to, wow, I went to a lot of, they got me a landlord that will work with people with disabilities. Now, because of the personal thing, which I was not even involved in, you had CLS stating to Detroit Wayne County, which I am a member of CPAC, so that report comes to me. 
Um, also, reported to the state of Michigan, one, I turned down eight houses. I've never seen eight houses, but I turned them down. <laughs> Can't get into them, because there's no ramp, so I turned them down. That's neat. What isn't neat is I lost my home because CLS sat on their thumb doing nothing. I filed a civil rights complaint against a grievance against CLS because I found out I was given two options. If I want my PCP, I can get it in Braille because I can't see Santa French. It's too hard for them to go on the computer and then find, enlarge the font. I can do it. Anybody that knows computers can enlarge fonts. That's too easy. It took them from 2010 to 2012 to get me my PCP. It was wrong. They asked, why didn't you sign off? It could be because I didn't get it. Didn't know it. But what really <laughs> broke my uh, concentration, more or less, was for anybody to put something in Braille. First, whoever's doing the brailing asks you to put it on tape. Putting it on tape, then sending it to the brother, waiting for two years, and it comes back wrong. <coughs> um, it's like a no brainer. If you're going to put it on tape for the brother, why can't you put it on tape for me? Because I have a cassette player, I can get any cassette player made. But what really burned me more than anything. CLS <coughs> was charging, I was me monthly. I was going out to Wayne, Michigan. Cost me $40 a truck. I finally said, wait a minute. I'm not working for you. You're working for me. I am the client. What really burned me more than that was I had to tell my support coordinator, sorry, I ain't coming to see you. Your job is to come to me. What I say, not what you say. You are my support coordinator, not me, yours. What well, really, really, and I'm going to end, but I wanted one thing. CLS went back and instead of asking me the questions, am I getting the action that I want? Am I getting the results? They asked my roommate. I have no voice. That's funny, I thought I was loud and clear. <laughs> because I want to tell you something right now. I was there in the beginning of the CBN. I watched the money because they always told me, you want to watch the job somebody's doing? Follow the money. I did. I'm ashamed to call them a CPN. They are a CPN, but they're the only CPN that was not created by Detroit Wayne County. They have two other contracts, but Detroit seems to be the lost baby that nobody wants. Two weeks, two weeks after CLS said, sorry, we can't help you, I got a house, a ramp that they paid for. I'm sorry. Scratch that. No, they didn't pay for it. My Medicaid paid for that ramp. My work got the company that actually 
the, the ramp. Because I demanded one thing. One thing I demanded. Whoever puts in that ramp, that my life depends on going up and down that ramp, they're going to have to have one thing. They're going to have to be certified one experience of building <laughs> ramps for people that use wheelchairs. Secondly, if I'm going to, I sat on the Barrier Free Commission, so you're not going to tell me what you're going to allow. I'm going to tell you what the law says. And as far as I'm concerned, you're going to do the job that you were created to do. And I'm going to tell you right now, CLS has gone back to the same old routine of sending me things in regular fonts. I sent it back saying, sorry, if I can't see it, I ain't signing it. Thank you. Oh, wow.